um, um, the one that I did. Um, I spent, I actually didn't even track how much time. I try to keep close to 30 minutes. And then uh, sometimes time will escape me and I spend too much time on one thing and I move to another. Um, I gathered some references of India. And I wanted to make spherical buildings, stuff that makes it look friendly, okay. and expand on that. Um, I try using different shapes, and I try some of the techniques that you did, where like you separate one piece of the of the composition, and you would use the 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 what was it the gradient tool, and you will lighten or darken some of the areas to make them seem closer or darker, uh, closer or farther away from each other. And um, I was just thinking about thumbnail sketches, but like also with uh, clear, concise values, where you can tell what's going on. Okay. At least... Okay, I see that from your work. But now to fix layer one and another problem. And I see you okay. practice a lot, which is really, really nice. Because this is now an important step towards uh, putting everything together. You started now um, perspective, you started mm -hmm. shapes, you started yeah. the different types of perspective, you know, where you make literal building everything up from scratch. These things are now yeah. important to our second part in it. Which is actually setting up things. And for okay. that, I want from you some reference, of course. You should do that okay. with reference, and this takes you two days to do it. Okay. Yeah, so, you, um, all photos, right? Yeah. Okay. Or other reference. Do whatever you want. It's up to you. Okay. Um,. Let me actually find some some stuff in my reference folder. Oh, that seems legit. And then I open up for you the screen, and then we are good to go. Okay. It's just for showcase in case uh, the people are knowing what we are doing. No time to screenshot that. Do you see my screen? Yes, I see your screen. Okay. The way how you build up these elements. What I want is again time, but this time. You're gonna do it with perspective, of course. Yeah. Uh, I think three to four. Four sounds nice. Oh, let me get a coffee real quick. No problem. I Okay. Let's test actually how strong it is. Are you turning anything today? Are you turning it? No, it connects to Just to get a 
it's the other one too. It's way too much. Uh, need a wrench for sure. Like yeah, it's drum more like pants. Clamp on and like rotate out of it because the drill is not gonna like grab it out. Yeah, like physically like remove it. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright, get my coffee. <sighs> there are now a few reasons what we, we do, okay. Reason number one okay. is we need to understand what's going on in our painting, you know? And the yeah. second thing is we draw everything in black and white, so of course. There are two things that you need to consider if you draw in black and white. Um, number th one, it's just two... Uh, two value structures. Mm. There is just black and white. There is nothing in between that. Mm -hmm. You know, just these two. Actual white structure. Two, because this is really important. This is number one what we need to, to consider if we paint in black and white. Number two what we need to consider is um, try to think in composition, you know? Yeah. Composition. Composition. Which is actually the third thing. And the second thing is light. Everything is about light. Yeah. That's the biggest thing that holds up uh, or holds us up. That's why it's so hard for you if you do this kind of thing and you try somehow yeah. to do the light and the shadow it's really really hard mm -hmm. you don't understand the structural element but what goes around you know mm -hmm. for example like this it's way too much we need to tackle that far more later on but what I suggest you and you need now, we need to, to see that, is I do first the compo uh, horizontal line. And depending how I want to do it, it's up to you. But never do it so many times in the middle. Many people do that in the middle. As I yeah. said last time, in the middle is an absolute no-go because uh, it was used way too often. And it's not interesting. It's static, and that's the yeah. problem. So in my opinion, we can do one here and one here up. It's up to you to decide, or we can okay. do it here. Another thing that I want then to mention is, I'm gonna later on show you a technique, how you can separate the values uh, later on, or squish it squish it together because that we say you want a much more saturated uh, and the values all together seen you know yeah yeah uh, but before we do that let me go let me do this one so i set up some horizontal lines now it's mm -hmm. time to use this kind of brush as you know a uh, polygon tool mm -hmm. It's up to, to me how I want to do that. It sets up some really nice uh, guides how you want to do your painting. Yeah. And it already shows to you, okay, how can I structure it? You actually can just use this kind of perspective lines. Yeah. But yeah. Um, now, it's time, I think, to paint literally everything in black. You try to understand from your reference what you actually want to paint, you know. Um, but let me use a different kind of perspective to make it a little bit, uh, at first, easier for you. And then you can decide for your own uh, setup. Okay make it harder 
Sonic Mag should choose this one. Mm, seems right, I think. Yeah. As I said, black and white. And I think I use some of these colors. It's up to you to decide how you want to do it. It's a thumbnail sketch, don't forget that. With the intention yeah. of the reference what you see down below. Maybe I add some other structure buildings. I really want to make it look like a dwarven city, you know? Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No opacity. No strength. It's everything is 100%. Let me try to keep it that way. As best as we can. For example, the light comes from this side. I can probably do that to make it way more better. Probably this is the environment from the side. And as I said, everything in black. Don't underestimate the power of it. Maybe I make it way more better. Make it look like from the side, you know? Mm. Maybe that could be amazing. And you can add then structural elements to it. Another reason why we painted black and white, as I said, um, values, light structure and composition, but the intention is always first design, or you can say abstraction, it's the abstract yeah. part of it that holds everything together, and you try to understand how, it, how does it work which shape is to rel related to what, you know. Maybe some other things here. And then later on you can add much more, much less opacity mm -hmm. to make it feel like, okay, it's not all the time like that. But you still enjoy black and white. It's just, it's you make it way more smooth. Mm -hmm. Are you bringing down the opacity of the brush, or are you bringing down the flow of the brush? Um, the flow. I think it's, for me, it's way more comfortable with the flow. Okay. Because uh, I, I tried doing the same by bringing down the opacity, and it's kind of, like, tricky with the hard brush, like, 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 inking brush. Up to you, you know? Uh, I have... The flow and opacity, do they do the same thing? Mm, not all the time. Depends who on the brush. Okay. As you can see, I do it with a hard round one. And it looks fine, I guess.
maybe I take some of it out, you know, to make it to yeah. more believable. But then I add it back. I did. Because sometimes it's way more easier to draw with the hard one than with the with the hard one. Yeah. Okay, next one. I spent it I think over ten minutes on it. Uh, yeah. So let me change that. So here, is it the right one? But we make it smaller. Nice. It's just about ideas, but I wanted this as a light guide, you know. Yeah. There's much more okay structure buildings where there are, you know. The rest is just guessing. I mean, as I said, I used, as I said last time, I used 10% of it. Uh, wrong brush, yeah. It's actually way more easier. Well, like, that this could create insane scenery you know storyboard and other stuff yeah i think in my opinion it's the easiest thing uh, in terms of light and other stuff which creates a whole another dimension to your entire uh, creative process But yeah, use everything in your arsenal if you do that. Now I think you are ready to do whatever you want. So feel free to go with what you want to do. The whole entire trick is just, okay, make it. Um, let me change the brush. How about this one? Hmm, looks neat. Uh, let me choose another one. Hmm, that could work. Or maybe I can change it. Change the entire scenery to fit your your view how you want to see the scenery. Mm -hmm. Maybe a small. That's in the back. And yeah, next scene. You get better and better at that. It's just a man of time. Oh yeah. Next one. This time I want something to do with buildings. So, in case if you didn't know, as I said, 
buildings require a lot of amount of study because you see all these crazy parts. Yeah. But if you if you break it down, it's not that crazy. If you know how kind of pattern these things does, for example, the rooftop, or for, mm -hmm. for example, this top thing, why? Ask yourself why is it there? This this there how is it structured, you know? Yeah. And as you can see, it's actually a really simple structure. It's everywhere plain triangles, plain triangles. Um not plain. Um uh, rectangle triangles. Rectangle triangles. But yeah, let me do it without this kind of version. Just try to nail it first, okay. Maybe here one, because of it, I can also do it like this. It's just nailing. I know already that this is going to be a, a different type of house. Okay, this is way more down. This is way more down. This goes down below. Maybe I can add some other neat stuff into that. Yeah. This is the nice thing. So, all the structures and the way how I think before I even touch the canvas is really important in terms of buildings. Because buildings are anatomy, the anatomy of environment. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to repeat myself for this week. It's because... No, no, uh, uh, I went to repetition. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I, that's... The I found I find like it's the best way for me to learn because I have to like do things over and over and over again for me to like fully understand it. Not bad then. But yeah, as you can see, I can also add here the structural elements. I want the light from this side, you know. Mm -hmm. And slowly, as you, slow. It does work. Maybe I look a little bit more on it. Okay, I can add this type of stuff. Maybe it would help. So there's another structure on it. It goes to a specific point from the axis. <laughs> Just shapes, don't try to overcomplicate things. Maybe here a triangle, maybe here a triangle. But yeah, follow, follow the grid. Mm -hmm. Don't forget it. Because if you don't follow it, um, you lose all the the things that makes an environment special. Okay. For example, composition, for example, and there's another thing. There are actually eight ways of composition, tension, structure, and so on. The tension I can do, use this type of building to make it way more dynamic, you know? Yeah. Or to create tension, which is maybe something in the back, you know, which goes way, way more down. And then it follows this kind of structure. And now this kind of structure, where, where it's really, really big. And then slowly, you know, you see that it's so yeah. small, but here it's really big, and that's the tension that we want to go. Where the okay. scenery becomes really small and then really, really big, like this, yeah. from the cylinder. 
It's crazy about the Dwarf Stats tension that you can create. There's another thing um, that I want to mention. Tension can be created from the focal point. So the focal point is actually this type of thing. These buildings, you yeah. know. It could be something else. It could be completely different, you know. You don't need... Uh, it doesn't need to be just the scenery. And this takes a little bit of time. But I, I'm fine. If you work on it for two days. Mm -hmm. Just on this picture. Because now it's about time to focus on light a little bit. Yeah. I take a little bit too much time with it. I should actually go faster. Usually I don't do that. But I wanted to show it a little bit of what you can do. Yeah. Um, this type of reference but it's way more work instead of 15 minutes the reason why I have the time and I look at the time I want f with a specific object to be done now this specific painting uh, sorry if I say specific it's actually wrong not with a painting um, with a specific thing which is it could be an object as I said or it could be, okay, adding colors to it, or it could be adding, rendering the thing. For example, I restrain myself every 13 minutes, I say, it's done, it's done. Then I take a break, go to the, uh, an, a different picture, you know, because probably yeah. I work on two to three projects at the time. Then I could render that other thing too, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it doesn't need all the time to be uh, this crazy amount of just thinking for one picture. Maybe it fits a team, maybe you don't need to draw all the time the same picture. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I tell you to to not overdo yourself because you lose a lot of um, joy, you know? Yeah. And joy is the most important thing in art because we have an extent, uh, intention, not intention, what is it called, you know? I forgot. Attention about. span? Hmm? Attention span, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, attention span. We have a really small attention span for around 4 seconds, up to 8 minutes depending on the person, you know. But I yeah. would say 4 seconds. So you need in 4 seconds uh, to understand your picture. Take this out. Add not the real stuff here. I can also add here something, do this, add here something. And everything comes together. Let's do it one stroke. You know why we do that? This technique is Painting in black and white is so important because of two different reasons. As I said, storyboard. Uh, no, not storyboard. That's that's another section. But if you want to focus on storyboard, yes. But what I actually mean is creativity. Mm. Creativity. Yeah, actually more. And math painting.
you can also do photo bash, which is the third thing. But yeah, up to you to decide. Okay. Uh, but we use it mostly with photo bash and matte painting. This is just primarily to think about the creativity part. This is why I wrote it first. May probably you didn't get it, but yeah, most of this work uh, painting in black and white, creativity, matte painting, and uh, we used for matte painting. Encouraging cre creativity using for matte painting. I said mm -hmm. it two or three times or four times, but it's so important. I want to be, I don't want you to understand it, I don't want your brain to understand it. Because mm -hmm. it's way more easier to make you, make you understand, but not your brain. So yeah, I think this is one thing. Now we come to the other thing. Uh, which is what do I did I want to explain? I told uh, you. First, with only two values, then. Uh... No, way more before I started. I told you we do two things. This is the value structure, what we do. We start with this right now. Yeah. But there's a second thing that I wanted to explain. Is it the process of how to build it up from there? No. I never said it today. Mm -hmm. I should really write this, the things down, like usually, but right now mm -hmm. I was way too stressed out. Well, what's stressing about? Uh, I have a deadline. <laughs> That's it. Well... But yeah, 30 minutes over, so I think let's take a break. Uh, for okay. 5 minutes, you know. Okay. Then we go, can go further with it.
Okay. Now I okay. think it's time um, to show you from the reference what's hard but slow to to make research, you know? Mm -hmm. For the research part, I'm gonna pick just random colors here. Number one, number two, and number three. I think orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Orange is the easiest part. What is the easiest thing when you see here to, to research? Of course the rocks, because this is just a simple shape and yeah. you, you can not do it wrong at all. Because every single time if I do for example a rock, just a, an example, my mistakes are completely hidden. Doesn't matter how I, I paint the rock. Mm -hmm. It looks like a rock. Yeah. Maybe I add some details and that is. It's done. That's a simple rock. Yeah. Same goes for this structure, for example. These are all rocks. This could be all rocks. And some other different types of mountains. The difficult part is so easy that you don't need to use that much brain power, you know? But by buildings, it's up to the red part. Because the buildings have this type of thing, this type of thing going on, you know, it's everywhere. Yeah. That's why you use a lot of brain power and you need probably to research about two entire days in real time. That's a lot. Meanwhile, on rocks, you probably need 30 to 1 hour of research. Mm -hmm. And then you paint a bunch of it. It's simple. Okay. It gets. And the more, the more it, uh, difficult you research, can be the more difficult the object, as you probably understand. Um, mm -hmm. For example, I had some, I'm gonna add some other stuff in here. But could be. Really difficult to research. This is the easiest thing, a rock. The secondary thing is probably fire, a lamp, you know. Or maybe just simple structural building. With... Yeah. Props, as I said. But depending on the props, as I said, uh, last type. And for the buildings, for example, a Chinese one, it has all these crazy parts to it. Maybe some lantern, you know. Maybe mm -hmm. here's something, okay, maybe here's something. Here is the the opening, and maybe it's completely structured. Let me actually add another color into that, let me use black. Maybe here is it completely restructured to different kind of uh, objects. Maybe it's a, you know, the outside structure. And there maybe is a statue here too, in tier 2, which is the easiest part of the object. You don't need to add that much details, but you need to add it. It's in the middle mm -hmm. zone. And this one is really, really easy. Bam, 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 okay. 
maybe some leaves, lianes from the forest, maybe some, this is a tree what goes around it. It's simple once you know the research part. So depending what you are doing, it's really, really hard. You're asking for the most easiest thing. And this is the most difficult thing what you ask. Uh, oops. Yeah. And this is some kind of middle way because probably you want to understand the structure like this, you know? Mm -hmm. And you need to paint it in 3D to understand it. How does it work? Maybe I add some uh, some ropes to it to hold it together. Maybe some down structural things here, so we can go further a little bit. But that's it. Meanwhile, the rock, it's just a simple rock. It doesn't matter in which perspective you do. Uh, how dynamic it, it is. It still stays a rock. You make it, you squish it together, you make it bigger, and so on. Meanwhile, this object, I, for example, I want to do a city, you know? This is, for example, the map of it. So I need somehow to decide it, uh, to do it a little bit structural. If I want to make a plan, how it could look like, maybe here is the bridge, and the bridge is connected here with something else, another building. And you need to think for yourself what this kind of building is. Is this, for example, where, where all the guards are, you know? And this is, for mm -hmm. example, uh, the eating station, or where they provide it with food, sleeping place, and so on. It's all outside, for example. And we, we try then to do a secondary plan to it, what it could look like with uh, all the structural elements to it. Here's the bridge, for example. Here's this thing going on around. Then it goes one here. That's mm -hmm. why you probably see it here. And maybe I'm gonna change the picture into that. Maybe some people want to do that. There's another structural element here, which is the secondary part. Maybe under below. They're holding it together with ropes and other type of things. Maybe this goes down. But as you see, it still is connected like a, like that. So that means there are two buildings connected like this. And that's the problem with it. So research, understanding the amount of research what you need to do for it is really, really important. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to decide what do you want to research right now. Yeah. Because this, this is way more easier right now f to do for you, in my opinion, than this type of thing or this yeah. type of thing. It is way too much work. At least for you right now, without understanding how much you need to research. For me, um, it's gonna take me for pro probably for an entire week to just do a fortress, you know? And yeah. I can probably show you that. Just a second. Mm, 
just the wrong one. This is probably the right one. Yep. Before uh, I did this type of buildings, you know, really, really yeah. simple. You saw, you saw me having this type of sketch, but before these sketches, there were another structure element. I tried to understand from reference how this could look like. How many of these are there, you know? How is it structurized? Yeah. Is it like this, you know, like the room in Rome? Or maybe it has here uh, a balcony. It goes like this. And it goes down below. And so on. And I try to understand each part of it. For example, I just made a pattern. How the insides could look like if I have just this type of st structure, you know? Yeah. And maybe it's like this. It goes here down. Same to that. Goes here down. But slowly, this one, it's probably a bay. One of the reasons why you need to pay attention in your research. That's why I have a really, really huge library yeah. of how to paint environment, characters, creatures, and so on. It's because I pay attention of these small little details just to make sure the pattern is right and so on. And how mm. to do them in uh, 3D, for example. Mitch goes here down. Probably like this. Right now I don't have it in my mind. I didn't focus that much around it. But yeah. yeah, I think you get my point when it comes to research. Mm -hmm. Um, next week, or I think in a few days, I'm gonna make sure to make you understand why this research is needed. So I'm gonna yeah. add much more things to this black and white thing. I just explain you the few parts of it. For example, what's important to keep in mind if you try to tackle this picture. But then... Yeah. What happens if you do the research part and it's way more stuff at ju uh, just value structure and composition, light and creativity, math painting and whatsoever. So yeah, I just gave you a head start a little bit of what okay. you can do right now, at least at the beginning, at what you can pay attention to it. So yeah, that's that's the second thing that I wanted to tell you. And now to the third thing. Uh, in case of values, as I told you, we paint in black and white. Why? Yeah. It's because we can go, for example, to this picture. Uh, use the polygon null tool and just decide what is in the front and what is in the back, you know? Yeah. So we basically add the val uh, a mid ground, foreground, and background to it, you know? And that's yeah. the cool thing about it why we paint that in black and white.
You paint in black and white for all your things? Hmm? You paint in black and white for all your, uh... For all your designs and, and, uh, and work? At least for math painting. And mm. for the bash, because it's way more easier. Uh, okay. But depends if he wants a really painterly look. Yeah. Then yeah, I do something else. Let me actually take this away. And as you can see, the foreground, background, and midground. I can emphasize that much more into the back uh, foreground. Mm -hmm. To make it look like a little bit, uh, like a rock. Add more stuff to it, think. But, is in a medieval castle, <laughs> as I said. Think before you do. You can, of course, add the shapes and then think a little bit later, after five minutes. But at least think. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that summarized the lesson. Alright, I'll, I'll be right back. Let me use that. Meanwhile, I do further on this type of math paint, not math painting. Uh, Painting with black and white. At least I should add some colors. Then later on. Don't like this type of structure. Yeah, go on. Come on. Maybe a little bit white again on the background. You can make a floating stone to it. Call that much more interesting things to it. Hmm. Oh, that's too much. Yeah. That's mid ground. That's background. That's foreground. Here I can add a little bit of background. Make it really very more interesting. Mm. 
and probably add some other type of stuff here. Probably I add the light from this side. Gives me a lot of emphasis. Opacity down. That the secondary structure of it. We don't want to paint them naked. Let's do one scene with black and white for five minutes. Just adding stuff for five minutes. That's the only thing what I gonna do. Opace city way more up. Nice. There's another thing going here on, okay. Come back. Welcome back. <sighs> fucking coffee. Are you still live streaming? Yeah. And you can watch it then later on to confirm, you know. Yeah. All the things what's it's important. So yeah, let me actually summarize everything for you. Paint in black and white. I actually use this kind of brush. Black, white. Why? Because define shapes. Define shapes 
be like. Composition. And then in this picture, then values. So if you can think research. Understand what is difficult and what is easy. If you pick reference. Mm -hmm. I know that summarized everything. Okay. We're gonna post now a video on that. Okay.